Hey there, soldier. How's that arm feeling? Okay. Well, we got him pushed off. And, uh... You know, obviously you're gonna... Have to go back to the field hospital. That's a, uh... Pretty bad wound he took there. Yeah, well, those Mauser rounds aren't anything to play around with. I'll definitely take a look at it, but I'm just gonna let you know you're you're not gonna be able to stay on the front with us. And I know you just got back from the uh, the field hospital, but you know I can't have you putting our guys in danger, unable to perform your duties at full capacity. Okay. Alright. Well. <sighs> we got him pushed off. Backed him up quite a bit. Captured a few Jerry's while we were at it, but... We did capture a map. And that's thanks to you. And it's got their... Machine gun emplacements, AA artillery. The whole nine. It's going to come in handy, make a tactical decision moving forward, so I don't think that that, uh, that wound is in vain. You, you really helped us out a lot today. Very brave for your duty here, but I know you want to stay on the line. It's not going to happen, okay? So... Let me uh, take a quick look at it, okay? How's your M1? I know you dropped it. Okay, not too much dirt. You got it cleaned up okay? All right, all right. Well, go ahead and give me your arm. I wanna take a look at that gunshot, okay? the supplies here to treat it like it needs to be treated. What's that? Well. Unfortunately, we don't have any more feet here. We got cut off when we took the advance, but push them back to the river. And they're on their heels. I think tomorrow we'll cave them in, but... Need to rewrap this. I do have a little bit of uh, solution that's going to clean that up a little bit for you, but we're running low on gauze, combat gauze, and we've been cutting up shirts for some of the guys in the other squad uh, where they don't have the supplies again, but. I'll do what I can, okay? All right. And uh, while I'm going over this wound with you, okay, we're gonna have to figure out how you're gonna get back on the line, behind the line rather, get back to the field medic. There's a nurse booth set up couple miles back but we can't send anybody with you and have to track it on your own and I think we knocked out all the Jerry's that were in the area but there could be some stragglers all right I'll go over the map with you before we send you on your way okay but uh 
First things first. <sighs> Damn solution keeps freezing on us. Had to keep it in my jacket under my armpit. <laughs> Alright, give me your arm. that opening backing up dog company yeah I never seen anything like that in my life you're crazy well, I know those boys appreciated that they were left out dry we ain't got no grenades Running low on ammo. And we got them pushed back though. And that was our job. Okay. How's that feel? It's pretty sore. your canteen. Oh. Here. You have a sip out of mine. Don't drink it all. I ain't got none left after this. Okay. Yeah, here you go. some of this combat goes on. The good news is it went straight through. Bad news is I think it hit the bone because you got a little Fragmentation hanging out the back end there. How much pain are you in right now? Quite a bit. Here, go ahead and bite down on my glove. I'm gonna have to cinch it up pretty tight, keep that blood stop, okay? All right. Regulated enough to not be pumping as much. When I was in Africa, I saw a couple guys shot less than you are and really, really uh, bad. Plus, with the infections. It's not good, but you're gonna be okay. And uh, I know it's not what you want, but I imagine they'll send you back to 
Paris. Get this properly figured out. Okay. Now, that's all the combat guys I got. Like I said, we got some old raggedy shirts. So, I'm gonna wrap it with this. Then I'll go over it with our compression bandage. Hit it with a little bit of tape. And you ought to be good to get across the line. real quick okay bite down on that glove you ready how's that feel okay good and I'm gonna wrap it with this one time Try the best you can not to crawl around on it, okay? If it comes undone, you're gonna start bleeding a lot, all right? You need to try to take it easy. show you this map okay and like I said there's still Jerry in the area I'm gonna teach you I'm gonna show you this is the map you pulled off that crowd okay squares or residential houses. The uh, hashed out buildings are textile mills and factories. This, yeah, this is the German map that you captured. These X's signify their guys that they lost in these positions. So obviously with the X's here on all sides, we were able to come in as a, as a unit and push them back. They came up through this middle dirt road here, coming up to the train tracks in the north where their supplies were running. And we gotta knock these supplies out, okay? But they're still dug in right here. These dark black lines signify the areas that they still hold. So they do have a position to the west. They're really strong here in the center of the town, but we got them pretty much cut off. They got one position up here on the water that our guys did take out this evening, okay? So that's not there anymore. Like I said, we're currently held up in this little factory building here. Tonight when you leave, it's important that you listen to this part, okay? Because you can't take this map with you. This is gonna be valuable for us in our game plan. 
Let's pay close attention, okay? But you gotta come out the back of this house, okay? And you're gonna wanna. You got your compass on you, right? All right. You wanna look at your compass and make sure that you're headed to the southeast, okay? You don't want to get up here by the river, okay? So if you start hearing a bunch of cicadas, crickets, and whatnot, you've gone too far to the, to the north. I need you to come down southeast, okay? Make your way between these two textile mills. You're not going to be able to miss it, okay? There's catty corn to each other off the floor way here. We got guys in this building. All right, so you're going to want to call thunder so they don't shoot you. You got your noisemaker, cricket, right? Okay. So once you get down there, hit that cricket so you so our guys know it's you. Okay. Our supplies and our on our uh, comms are cut off. We can make the call for you, but it's not possible right now. You're gonna get down here, and this is the tree line where we pushed in from. Okay, and I know you know that area looks like because you were there in the push today so once you hit that tree line get on the corner there and you're going to look at your compass and make sure you're headed exactly southeast and it's about a mile and a half back we got a line set up in the camp rear operating base and once you get there they're going to take care of that arm okay Alright, so, you know what you gotta do. Okay. As far as ammo goes, alright. Are you okay with the ammo? You got enough ammo in case you run into anything, any issues? Okay. Well, I could give you a few rounds. Like I said, we knocked them out hard today. Gave them the business, but I think... If I had to guess, there may be a couple still alive. Obviously, they're, they're going to be looking to surrender, but if they see you by yourself, they might fire. So you got to be ready, okay? Here, I got a clip for you. And I got two clips for you. I can't spare anymore. You got a bandolier bag, she's just stick it in there, okay? Okay. You stick that there in your pocket, okay? And. I gotta get back to the boys here in a minute. We really gotta go over our game plan, but. You feel confident and comfortable enough to do this by yourself? Okay. Alright. Well. When you get back to the camp, I need you to deliver a message, okay, to the colonel. We don't have any comms. We're cut off. When the Germans push back, they destroy the line, so we have no way to contact the guys behind the line. With that said, we need medical supplies, we need ammunition, we need hand grenades. Okay, other than that, we're going to be okay, I think, but you got to let them know we're doing our best to restore the lines. Tomorrow morning, we should make our final assault and be able to push them back to the railroad, okay? Can you do that for me? with you in case you get lost. You need more than I do. Alright, soldier. Get back now. Be careful. 
and I'm sure there's going to be a fantastic nurse there to help you out when you get there. And they also got morphine, so you shouldn't feel too much pain. Good. All right. Proud of you. Did a great job today. No, don't mention it. Let's go win this war. And I hope to see you on the front line again here soon, okay? All right. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. All right. You grab onto my arm, like so. Just support yourself. We're gonna sit you back. Okay, good. Nice and still. Okay. You good? How are you feeling? Okay, that's to be expected. Let's get this on you then. Keep you nice and warm and comfortable. Helps with the shock. Feel okay? Alright. Now, I know the blanket's nice and all, but I do need you to keep that arm elevated. So try to keep it above your heart. Perfect. Just having it right there keeps the blood flowing. Gives me a good opportunity to work. What's your name, soldier? Pleasure to meet you. It's gonna be pretty invasive, so if you need anything at any time, just let me know. Of course you can have a smoke. Take a look. You're patched up on the field. All right, it's a good start. I'm very, very happy that you made it here tonight. I know it's late. I know it's cold. The elements were against you tonight, but you're here now, soldier. I'm gonna give you something for the pain. This is not going to be an easy night for you. Yeah, you heard we got the morphine? Only the best. It's gonna make you feel nice and relaxed. You won't feel a thing, hopefully. Feel a slight pinch. Count of three. One, two, three. Okay, good. And just breathe. Okay. Good. Gotta take a look at those dressings. Morphine hasn't kicked in just yet, so you might be feeling a little pinch here and there. I'm going to count you down from three to zero. When I hit zero, I'm going to start removing those bandages, okay? Three, two, one, zero. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lot of blood. Gotta act quickly. I'm gonna take a up close look at your wound, okay? Just stay nice and still. Try not to touch it too much. Okay. So looks like blowing all the way through. It's a miracle. Good news is you'll live. Bad news. I gotta stitch you up. You'll be okay. I promise. I'm gonna first start 
for sterilizing that wound, okay? into the wound. This will get applied around the entry. So I'm going to start with the entry and then I'm going to have to work on the back side. Usually when it goes through where the point of entry is, it's a lot smaller and then where it goes out, it's a lot larger. So. Bear with me, soldier. I'm gonna get through this. Okay. I feel a slight sting. Okay. Does that feel okay? Okay. Good news is, it got to me in time. a matter of patience and treatment. I'm gonna wipe down the excess. wherever that is. Think about life back home and uh, just bear with me a moment, okay? Oh yeah, um, I am a nursing student back home, but because of the war, they piloted a lot of us. Figured hands-on training is better than clinical studies, right? Yeah. Lots of us are nurses. Yeah, lots of us are uh, students that were sent over. You feeling okay? Okay, good. We're almost out of it. What's with this one? Almost done. Cleaning it up. Yeah, a lot of us are students who are volunteer. We wanted to do our part. We wanted to help out our brave soldiers. That way when we go home, we can have this experience. Alright, looks like almost all patched up. Wipe down a little. Nice and still. you won't feel a thing, but I can promise it will feel a bit better. Okay. You're looking at about five, five to eight stitches. Now, 
try to make it quick. I'll try to make it painless, but we do need to perform a little bit of a procedure. So are you ready? Alright. So I'm just gonna hold this up and make sure I've got enough measure. For this side. Okay. And for this side, let's take a look around. One, two, three, four. Back side's gonna need about six stitches. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to work, soldier. Nice and still for me. Gonna have you breathe. Okay, and let's get to work. So, one, two, three. Okay, that's our first stitch. You didn't even feel a thing? Well, you might as well go ahead and close your eyes then for the rest. Uh, three. One, two, three. Okay. Good. Come around this side so I can get this part nice and still. Okay. Breathe. One. Just a little bit more for this back side. How are you holding up? Well, I know you're worried about your brothers out there on the field, but I promise you. <laughs> you're better dealing with me. You don't even want to know how many times I get cussed out or <laughs> I get told, man, I'd rather be out there in the field. <laughs> I put you through some hell, but you'll come out feeling better, alright? I promise. Okay. I'm gonna focus on the back side, stitching you up. So, make sure I got enough measured. Trim a little. Okay. So, just nice and still. Count of three. You can close your eyes. Go ahead. I do need to give you some penicillin before the end. Okay? So don't fall asleep on me just yet. Oops. Count of three. One, two, three. One down, five to go. One, two, three. Okay. Feeling okay? Good. You should feel nice and relax. No morphine should be helping settle you down. Okay, good. That's what you like to hear. You didn't even notice I did that one. Okay. Three more. Nice and still. Keep that arm up for me. Perfect. Okay, ready? Let's keep going. One, two, three. Okay. Nice and still. We only have one more. Then you will be stitched up. Ready? Set.
tie this off. You're going to need to put a little more gauze on you. Let me grab that. It's going to be nice and tight, so if you feel at all in the middle of the night that it's too tight, just feel free to let us know. You can always adjust that, but you are going to need to try to sleep with that arm up, okay? Alright, I know. I'm sorry. It's nice and still. On count of three, I'm going to start wrapping the bandage around. One, two, three. Okay. Once more. Ready, set. Okay, I'm going to tie it off. and tight, I know. <laughs> I know it's uncomfortable. Alright. Before I let you drift off, you do need to take some penicillin. This is just an antibacterial. It's going to help with infection. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wake you up every four hours to give you this. So, yeah, you're not going to be happy with me, I know. But it's for your own good, so. Ready? And three, two, one. Perfect. I'm going to listen to your heart, and I'm going to let you sleep. I want to make sure that blood is flowing properly. So just breathe for me. I'm just going to take a listen. Nice and healthy. Good. Your heart rate is slowed right now. Are you tired? had a very stressful day. So, you need to get some rest. Immediately. You should be starting to feel the effects of that morphine. Take this time. Get some sleep. And I do need to come back around in four hours. But for now, you need to rest, okay? Of course. When you wake up, you're going to want to wear something clean. It's the best I can do for you right now. Supplies are really low, but I did get you at least one jacket to wear. should keep you nice and warm during your stay, okay? Of course. So I'll put this right next to your bed. Should you wake up and you feel you're cold and you want to put it on, just let us know will help you make sure that the arm doesn't move too much. Not a problem. I'm gonna let you rest now, soldier. Okay? Get some sleep. Good work out there today. Very brave. Godspeed, my friend. <laughs>